This is a breaking news alert. Breaking: Trump's State Department responds after North Korea arrests a United States citizen. Now, Vilmont Provisio for the Conservative Tribune writes that an American citizen has been detained by the North Korean government in their latest provocations in order to stir up tensions with America. Now, he is not the first arrest, but this is actually the third arrest. Now, the 58-year-old man called Tony Kim was detained by authorities on Saturday as he was boarding a plane to China with his wife. Kim became not the first, but again, the third detainee by the dictator there in North Korea. Now, the report goes on to detail that Kim was employed by a professor at the Pyongyang uh, University of Science and Technology, where he had taught accounting for about a month. Uh, now, they are also claiming that his teachings had nothing to do with the reason why he was arrested. Obviously, it has to do just with inciting tensions with us here in America. Now, the U.S. U.S. State Department has already promptly responded to this and said, you know, basically that they're going to take action. But here's what they have said. We are aware of the reports that a U.S. citizen was detained in North Korea, a State Department official had said. But they went on, the protection of a U.S. citizen is one of the U.S. Department's highest, highest, highest authorities. Now, they went on to add that they were working with the Swedish embassy there, obviously, because uh, we don't have relations with North Korea. Uh, the United States is working directly with the embassy in Sweden there to coordinate the release of Kim uh, that that uh, Kim Jong Un has, you know, been arrested or ha has been arrested by Kim Jong Un there. But look, I want to say my thoughts and prayers are with your family out there, Kim, and the other families that have been detained by this crazy dictator who really just needs to be put in his place. So would you send your thoughts? thoughts, your prayers out to Kim's family, not Kim Jong-un, but Tony Kim, the guy who was detained there, just to clarify. It's just heartbreaking that they go after uh, there in North Korea, that he has the absolute sickness in his heart. He's got a very dark heart there in North Korea, Kim Jong-un does, but just to arrest the average citizen. He doesn't go after military personnel or anything like that. No, he wants to attack straight up just the citizens themselves. Maybe that's why in his parade earlier this week, he showed the American city being blown up there because, hey, he cares not about American uh, American people. He cares not about people altogether. Kim Jong-un is only about himself. I mean, look at the way that he runs his country. Anyhow, uh, don't forget to send up your thoughts and prayers for Tony Kim there. Well, thanks again for tuning in to the channel here. If you like what you heard, hit that subscribe button and give us a big fat thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share it on all your social media outlets. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I am Lisa Haven filling in for Gary Franchi's Next News Network. Badass shirt now available. Link in the description. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, share this report, and, to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, the Next News Network.